Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Humans always choose imaginations over reality. That is why the idea of beautiful and elegant mermaids playing at the seashores and swimming underwater always fascinates us. Reports of mermaid sightings keep coming on the surface every now and then, which prompts the question, are mermaids for real? Well, we have compiled such reported sightings of mermaids. Watch this video till the end, and then tell us your response to the question in the comment section. Let's immediately roll in then. Number 10, South Island, New Zealand. Many people associate themselves with fishing as their main earning source if they live near some natural source of water. While fishing, however, they can catch some unexpected things as well, like a mermaid. Fishermen in the South Island caught a suspicious looking animal in 2014. At first they thought that they had stumbled upon a dead person and called the Coast Guard immediately. The body was such a strange thing to probe that the Coast Guard had to contact local authorities and police. Police concluded that apparently the body was of a human being, as it had an eerie resemblance with humans, but some of its parts resembled that of an aquatic animal. It was such a bizarre find that got the whole island of New Zealand talking about it. The completely baffled police asked forensic and anthropological help from the University of Auckland. To date, it is the most realistic encounter with a mermaid ever. Number 9. Goki, Zimbabwe The next apparent encounter of humans with mystical mermaids took place at a small town called Goki in Zimbabwe. The media reports that some workers working on the construction of a dam have complained that they were being harassed by mermaids. Yup, mermaids harassing humans. Quite a sight. The workers were installing water pumps at the dam when they encountered half-human and half-fish creatures. Apparently the creatures, which the workers claimed were mermaids, were quite pissed off of the workers and attacked them. The scared and shocked workers left the work and were then replaced by other teams to complete the work, but the substituting teams also left, giving the same reason as their previous counterparts. The mermaids scared the hell out of those workers. Number 8. John Smith's Mermaid Win or lose, you will never regret working hard, making sacrifices, being disciplined, or focusing too much. Great words by a great soldier and sailor, John Smith. And the account of mermaids' existence gets quite strong here, as John Smith himself has claimed to see a mermaid while being on a voyage. In the 1600s, the sailor was exploring the West Indies when he saw a woman with green hair and blonde skin. The woman was said to be very attractive. What shocked Smith the most was when the woman dove into the water. It was when he noticed its tail and was shocked to see it was a mermaid. Some people speculate that John Smith never wrote about it, or maybe he just mistook Minanti as a mermaid. Nonetheless, I find it very interesting. Number 7. Hebridean Mermaid A woman from a group of people cutting seaweed saw a miniature woman in the water off the coast of the island of Benbecula in Scotland. The woman asked her fellow workers to go take a look at her discovery. The discovery of half-human female and half-fish went viral, and many people started going after the creature to look at it if possible. It is said that many children struck it in the back with small stones and pebbles. A few days later, the body of the deceased mermaid washed off the shore and was collected by the local authorities. The people who were not bent to admit that they had seen a mermaid were shocked to see the dead body which resembles a mermaid. Number 6. Key Islands, Indonesia Wars are emotionally and physically draining, and sighting mermaids at such times must constitute a good change. Well, I'm talking about World War II. In 1943, during World War II, some Japanese soldiers confirmed that they had encountered mermaids. The soldiers were part of a surveillance team who had to watch the key island of Indonesia. The appearance of a half-fish and half-human creature was seen by several members of the surveillance team. They spotted a small humanoid in the water with a spine on its back. The same figure was noticed playing in lagoons and on the beach of the islands. At first, soldiers did not believe what they were seeing, but the locals told them that these mermaid-like figures were called organican or human fish. No one believed they actually saw a mermaid, but locals took the story of soldiers quite seriously.
Number 5. Kiryatium, Israel This particular town in Israel is rife with the tales of mermaids. One of such tales is that of a mermaid which appears at dusk and performs tricks for people. Locals say that the creature is part fish and part human female. As there was not a lot of substantial evidence to support the tale, few people took it seriously until a video went viral. The video, posted online by two friends, focused on some rocks on which lay a sea creature. The friends were wondering whether it was a sea lion or a manatee. They were shocked to their core when they saw the creature moving and diving into the water. It had a tail like a fish, but a human head and face. The friends were startled to see what they had just seen. The creature lay leisurely on the rock and was probably sunbathing on a bright day upon noticing those friends filming it when she decided to take off, giving the boys a chance to film it. What do you think it was? Number 4. Buffalo Jag River, South Africa South Africa has a long history with mermaids probably consisting of thousands of years. Mermaids are engraved in their culture from early on. There are numerous paintings of half-human and half-fish creatures from their ancient culture. The most interesting and odd fact is, these paintings are found in some of the driest parts of the country. Most recently in 2008, a mermaid named Kaiman made a huge entry in the media. Many people claim to see it, especially a group of friends camping at the Buffalo Jag River. They heard loud splashing and banging in the river. Scared, they went to see what had happened. Upon examining, they saw a woman with pale skin and long black hair. The most shocking thing was its bright red eyes that almost looked as if they were glowing. Mermaid ran away and was not seen again. People now keep their distance from cavemen as the mermaid is known for pulling people underwater and trapping them. Number 3. Main Island, British Columbia, Canada in 1967, many people saw a supposed humanoid on the shores of Main Island, British Columbia, Canada. The apparent mermaid was sitting on the beach, chilling and hanging out without a care in the world. Some saw her eating salmon on the beach. Those who claimed to have seen the mermaid said that they saw a blonde woman with blonde hair being topless sitting on the rocks near the shore. The blonde woman had a pompous tail, where it should have legs. The same mermaid was seen again next week. Such was the hype of this apparent blonde mermaid that the colonist newspapers announced a reward of $25,000 for any information on the mermaid. Number 2. Haspinola Island, the Caribbean Christopher Columbus is known to encounter mermaids during one of his voyages. He saw at least three mermaids at Spatula Island. The mermaids he encountered were quite playful and were jumping in the water. As Columbus and his crew came near, three of them rose out of the water and Columbus had a full view of them, and he was not least bit impressed. As depicted in folklore, Columbus thought of them as an epitome of beauty and elegance, but in reality, they were nowhere near it. They were unattractive at best, if not ugly. Some people doubt that Columbus has even seen them at all, claiming he must have mistaken a manatee, also known as sea cows, as a mermaid. Number 1. North Cape, Norway In 1608, while exploring western waters in Norway, Henry Hudson, another popular sailor, had a strange encounter with mermaids. On the voyage, Hudson claimed in his journal that he saw some mermaids. At first, there was a single mermaid in the water, probably playing, when she saw Hudson and his crew. Upon sighting them, the mermaid called her other mates as well. Hudson and his crew got near the mermaids to further examine them and this is when he found out that the creatures had pale skin and long black hair. They were as big as the men of his crew were. At first, he didn't notice the tail, but when he realized that the creatures had a tail, he described it the same as that of a dolphin. While many sailors around the world had claimed to see mermaids, they often confuse mermaids with manatees. But Hudson's case is different, as he was voyaging in the Bering Sea, where there are no manatees in the water. So, now after watching the video, what do you think of mermaids? Do tell us in the comments section, like and share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our upcoming amazing videos.